If you've been keeping up with WandaVision, you'll be excited to know that the Marvel Multiverse looks like it's open for business. Welcome watchers of the Marvel Multiverse. This is the new voice of the Marvelous Wave. Let us observe all that occurs. With Into the Spider-Verse being the first to open up the Marvel Multiverse, as well as the upcoming Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, the MCU has decided to go full bore the many universes that occupy Marvel Comics. This is fantastic news for all who are keeping an eye on Spider-Man 3. The unnamed third entry has been said to be by Tom Holland to be the most ambitious standalone superhero movie ever made. And with many reports coming in, I for one am excited for all the possibilities. After Mysterio outed Peter Parker as Spider-Man, it seems like the entire world, and more, will be descending on Spider-Man. It appears that the multiverse has it in for Spider-Man just as much as the MCU does. So far, we have quite a few villains slated to fill this rogues gallery, and it looks like it'll be quite a challenge for Spider-Man or the Spider-Man. So to start, Jamie Foxx and Alfred Molina were reported in the past to reprise their roles as the villains Electro and Doc Ock respectively. But it is now rumored that Willem Dafoe and Thomas Hayden Church will reprise their roles as Green Goblin or Norman Osborn and Sandman. Many are speculating that Kraven the Hunter and Spider Slayers will also be joining this villainous throng. And it sounds as if these won't be a small cameo roles either. But how will they fill their roles? It has been reported recently that Willem Dafoe has officially begun filming scenes for Spider-Man 3. Will he be taking on the title of Green Goblin, or just simply filling the shoes of Norman Osborn? And with his original iteration of the character killed by his own glider in the original Sam Raimi Spider-Verse, who is this new version? The same question can be asked of Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, who died destroying the fusion reactor he built after being driven mad by his robotic arms and the loss of his wife. And Jamie Foxx's Electro from the Mark Webb Spider-Verse, who was killed by being overcharged and blown apart through electricity using Spider-Man's webs to return it back into him. But Sandman, played by Thomas Hayden Church, lived on making amends with Spider-Man and finishing the story on a high note. It has also been reported that all these characters will get an overhaul in their designs and costumes. With three characters dead and one story still open, and with the new designs, it could turn out to be doppelgangers like J. Jum Jameson, played by J.K. Simmons once again, or other versions from across the multiverse and possibly across time. But what could this mean for the rest of the MCU and for Spider-Man specifically? With the inclusion of many other villains, or allies, Spider-Man and the other Avengers faced in the past in the comics and on the screen? Could this possibly be a tie-in into the Spider-Verse itself? I for one would love to see, for example, Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin play a part in Spider-Man in the future as well, opening up possible team-ups with fellow New Yorker Daredevil, with the inclusion of Doctor Strange in Spider-Man as well, especially after his own upcoming movie that will revolve around the multiverse, it would be a missed opportunity not to use the multiverse to bring these villains into the MCU. With the possibility of these multiverse travelers, it will also be interesting to see how they arrive in the MCU. With the current events in WandaVision, will we see a door open that Wanda has created consciously or subconsciously as the story unfolds in Westview? Maybe we will see some of these characters appear for a time, but there is also the possibility that the universe was torn open by the activation of Kingpin's Super Collider in Into the Spider-Verse. With the doors that opened in Miles Morales' Spider-Verse, there may have been more that had gone unnoticed. Or will we learn that the cause comes from a extra-dimensional being in Doctor Strange, such as Dormammu? With all the dimensions Doctor Strange travels as Sorcerer Supreme, who knows who could be tearing the universe asunder? Or could it be a mix of reasons that tear down all of these barriers. These events and villains are only a part of what Spider-Man will face. With the alleged inclusion of Kraven the Hunter, a Russian hunter who has a strong inclination to hunt his most fearsome game with his bare hands, and Alistair Smythe and the Spider Slayer robots, Peter Parker will have his hands full. Let's just hope that help comes through the walls of the multiverse. As for the story, there are little hints to what will happen outside of the multiverse opening up. On top of all this, it has been rumored that Eddie Brock and Venom could also have a cameo appearance in Spider-Man 3, which is great news for Sony's involvement in the MCU. 
All of this is a good sign for the year of Marvel stories we will have leading up to Spider-Man 3, but it also gives me a lot of hope for the future of what the MCU has as a whole. Who are you hoping joins the MCU from previous Marvel universes and other Marvel stories? What do you think caused the multiverse to collide, and what other villains do you hope to see in Spider-Man 3? Please let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.